Our big story right now at 10 o'clock, a Mobile family is mourning the loss of a loved one killed just 24 hours ago. Police say she was killed by a drunk driver. 44-year-old Celestine Perryman is charged with vehicular homicide. Police say Perryman hit a 60-year-old Juanita Wheat as she was walking near her home on Somerville Street. Local 15's Derek Rose met with the victim's family tonight who wants our viewers to hear an important message. They do, Kim. You know, these relatives want people to know what they have lost and what all of us can do to make sure no other family has to feel the same. Snapshots of Juanita Wheat tell just part of her story. It's when you hear about the moments and the memories. Do you realize what she means to the people who love her? She loved the children. She did something wrong. She didn't mind saying it. And Nita, as she was known, was more than just a member of the family. She was the family. She, I mean, she was a, a matriarch, of course. And the hardest part about describing Nita now is using the word was. It's not only a, a loss for her children and grandchildren, it's a loss for all of us. At 60 years young, Nita Wheat died at the hands of a person believed to be driving drunk. Celestine Perryman was behind the wheel. Nita Wheat was on foot and in front of her own home. It's a tragedy for, for both families. But this family has seen this tragedy before. It's the second relative they've lost to a suspected drunk driver. It's so much tragedy. I mean, it's just, I don't know. You know, we just take it one day at a time and love each other and, and you know, just try to be that support. Alcohol may be a factor here. It's speed that seems to be a problem every day. Pedestrians have both no sidewalk and little light when the sun goes down. And as well, you can see, they fly. Like really like and, it, dark. and that's how people drive down here all the time. Every day. You see it? Every day. And, and Nita's family hopes the people who use this street will slow down and think of the woman who lived and died right here. And Celestine Perryman, according to Metro Jail Records, is in jail tonight. She's due in court on Tuesday. Funeral arrangements in the meantime for Nita Wheat are pending. Kim.